All right, intermediate algebra uh, students, this is your second Khan Academy for this unit called Powers of Products and Quotients um, Using Integer Exponents. So a little different now. You will notice that we are going to take this one right here, and I'm going to kind of walk you through what they mean by this. When we have a number to a power directly to another power, and in this case we have two numbers to a power directly to another power, that means I've got four groups of six nines. So you understand this equals having six nines. I hope you understand that. If that's four, if that's six nines right there, and I have four groups of that, that's six nines and six nines and six nines and six nines. All together, I've got 24 nines, if that makes sense. And if I've got seven or nine sevens here, and I've got four groups of that, that's 9, 9, 9, and 9, that's 36. So hopefully it makes sense how I got to this right here. You simply take this power here and multiply it by that power here. When it's a power directly to a power, you multiply them, okay? So the four groups of 6 is your 24. The four groups of 9 is 36. Um, obviously a positive divided by or multiplied by a negative is a negative and a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. So right there is that answer. So right there, there's our answer. Uh, not A, not B, no, C is the wrong direction. Well, that didn't work. So now we have to manipulate the numbers. So we have to think about how can we take and manipulate these numbers. Well, one way we could do this is we could take this number and we could move it from being on the top to moving it to the bottom. Just remember what happens to an exponent when you move it from the top to the bottom? It becomes the opposite of what it is. So if we do this, we keep the 9 to the negative 24 on the top, and then the 7 becomes a negative 36 on the bottom. Okay, well, let's see. Doesn't work, doesn't work, it doesn't work. So that was not the right way to do it. So let's try another way. Well, the, the another way I could do this is instead of moving this one to the bottom, I could move this one to the bottom, and when I move that to the bottom, it would become the opposite of what it is, or a positive, and that would look like this. 7 to the 36 stays on the top. We move this one to the bottom, and now it becomes a positive. Let's see, is that this one? No, it's the opposite of that one. Hey, it's this one right here. It's letter B. That's the one we got. Okay, let's do one more of these, make sure we know what we're doing here. So here's the next one. This one is a division problem, but it doesn't affect what we're doing here. I've got 3 to the negative 6 directly to the 5th, so I'm going to multiply that. What is negative 6 times 5? You'd say it's negative 30. And 7 to the negative 3rd to the 5th, I multiply the negative 3 by the 5, so I end up with 3 to the negative 30th on the top and 7 to the negative 15th on the bottom when I multiply both of these powers here by the 5 right there. Again, it's just like distributing the thing. So, first question, is this our answer? Well, it doesn't fit this one, doesn't fit this one. Shoot, it doesn't fit that one either. Okay, so one of the things I need, I could try is let's move this one to the top, okay? So if I take and move that to the top, you might agree that it would be 3 to the negative 30th times 7 to the 15th power. Well, none of the answers here even are doing multiplication, so we got to switch that around. So now let's try it the other way and let's move this one to the bottom. And that negative 30th, when we move it to the bottom, will become a positive 30th. So then we have 7 to the 15th over 3 to the 30th. No. Hey, there it is. Letter B works for us. And this one. Wait a minute. How did I get that one? Guys, I screwed up. It's not that one. I can't move that dot. Okay, I'm, make, I'm making a black dot or answer. See, this is why I check multiple answers. All right, we're doing black dot for the real answer. This is why I checked my other answers, guys, because you know what? I screwed up on that one. It was not letter B. It was this one, okay? And I'm sorry, but I wish I could remove this one. I can remove it for a split second, but it should be that one right there. See, we all make mistakes. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.